Hello Year 9. This presentation is designed to guide you through the options process that you'll be taking part in over the next few months. Firstly, I want to explain what your curriculum is going to look like over the next two years. So all of you will study a core curriculum of English language, English literature, maths and science, together with personal development, which includes things like SMSC. In addition to that, you'll have the option to choose from additional qualifications. And the number of qualifications available to you will depend on which pathway we suggest you study. To ensure that you've got a curriculum that's best suited to your needs and aspirations, we will recommend one of four different pathways for you to study throughout Key Stage 4. These recommendations are based on your time in school today, your progress and attainment in the different subjects, your attitude to learning, and also your interests and aspirations for the future. While we work hard to make sure that you are recommended for the right pathway, these aren't set in stone. So if you do want to discuss your suggested pathway with us, you can do that at any time. As you'll see from the information that's been shared with you in the options booklet, you'll take either two or three additional options. And most of you will study either history or geography in the humanities option. Now, choosing your options is obviously a very big decision, and there's some guidance that you should consider when making these choices. Firstly, think about what you enjoy, think about what you're interested in and where your talents lie. You may have an idea already of what you want to do at the end of, uh, at the end of school and what your career aspirations might be, but don't worry if you don't. What you're after is a, is a range of different subjects that provide you with a broad and balanced curriculum so that it keeps all of the doors open for you and gives you as many opportunities as you want in the future. There are some things that you should avoid doing. Firstly, try to make sure that you are independent in your decision making. Don't make decisions based on what your friends want to do or want you to do. Avoid making uninformed choices. There is a huge amount of information available to you, both in the options booklet and also on the website. And we recommend that you take the time to discuss all the information with your parents and carers. And finally, don't take a subject because you think it's easy. Challenge yourself. Make sure that what you're doing is something that you will get a lot from and enjoy because you're committing to do it over the next, the next couple of years. Just a quick note on the EBAC pathway. This is a traditional academic curriculum and it is increasingly valued by prestigious universities and employers. If you're recommended to this pathway, we strongly urge you to consider doing it. The only difference between the EBAC pathway and the open pathway is that French is included in your core curriculum. So finally, the next steps. Well, as I've said, firstly, take the time to look through the information that's been provided to you and talk to your teachers and your parents and carers about the best possible choices for you. You're going to receive uh, an initial preferences survey, which is an online form giving us an idea of what your likely choices will be. Now, it's important to say at this point that those choices are not set in stone. It is for information only at this stage, and you will be able to change your mind if you want to. Later on in the term, around March and April time, we will begin to have interviews with teachers to talk about your options and make sure that you've been guided to the best possible path before making final choices in early April, just after the Easter holidays. I hope this information is useful to you. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, please make sure you speak to a member of staff. Obviously, these are important decisions for you to make at the moment, but it's important to remember that you're not alone in doing this and we're here to support you all the way.